Hey everybody, it's your host Robert Taylor on with a, another video. Uh, this time I'll be going over uh, my height map stamps uh, with the landmass plugin. Uh, before I do start, I do want to first apologize for any noise you may hear in the background. It is the summer after all. Um, I did notice in a video that is currently uploading that my two vicious poodles were growling and playing in the background. So, um, I apologize for that video as well uh, but anyways on to the landmass plugin uh, for those that aren't aware the landmass plugin is a plugin provided by epic games uh, it allows uh, the utilization of height maps to better use those textures to make far better appearances in the landscape uh, that can also be moved and is non-destructive and you can alter however you see fit uh, so obviously uh, you would want to go to edit and plugins type in landmass check mark that it's going to tell you to restart it go ahead and restart it and uh, once you do you will then be able to see my stamps um, after you've purchased them for those that haven't purchased and they're checking this out welcome i do hope you make the purchase and learn something as well so if we come here to my folder, which is Wonderscape Creations, and you go to Landscape, uh, Stamps, and we're in the basic map, and those are the ones we're going to go over. This is the um, parent stamp. Uh, I'm not going to open it and show it up uh, because it would, you know, give pertinent information for stuff that I am. Uh, providing for a small fee same with the material I'm not going to open it up because then it would again provide information that I'm not going to share for free uh, but anyways come here to basic uh, the basic pack only has 12 stamps it's the cheapest one only three dollars um, four for cliffs mountains and noise and I'm going to go over how everything works here so as you can see you have these cool little icons here uh, the purpose of them is so that you can click on the stamp when uh, without having to come over here to click on them uh, colors set differentiate uh, what type of stamp it starts as and the reason that uh, that's important is uh, if you really wanted to come over here I'm gonna change this to point three Congratulations, this mountain stamp is now a noise stamp. There we go. We got that back to how it was. Uh, it does take a moment to get everything set back up, but once it does, frame rate goes back to being beautiful. Now, the way you set up stamps is in the landscape mode, and then you hit blueprint and epic games has their own uh, there's a few of them to choose from uh, but then i have a bunch of my own as you can see there's the iceland uh, set which is already up there and i've got 450 more that i'm working on uploading that are from all over the u.s and then there's the ones that epic made so you would then just click on one I will do a shameless plug for my Icelandic. Come over here and click it on. You'll see looks a little janky. It's right now building up everything. Um, once it's all set up, that notification goes away, and here you are. Uh, obviously, it's a little on the sharp side. Uh, right now, the reason for that is the landscape. I have it set to 200 so that I can have everything higher. Uh, essentially, that means that whatever the strength is of the stamp, if it is at 200, come on, there we go, uh, which the landscape is at 200, then you would want the height halved. That's something you would have to do manually which is perfectly fine. It's a lot better than hand painting all that at once. 
Anyways, I will delete that and I will show you the features of my stamps. We're going to go with this one right here. I'm going to close out of that. So re-click on that so that I have this active. Uh, so, and the, I will go section by section, landmass, brush plugin, the manager. Uh, if for some strange reason you have more than one, you can then ch uh, select which one you want. Landscape scale. That means what is the X and Y scale of the landscape in order for the um, pivot points to stay centered you need to make sure that uh, the landscape is a perfectly square it has to be perfectly scale square when using the landmass plugin and th then it needs to match this so just make sure you always adjust that uh, if you're making your own stamps obviously if i were to go into the blueprints you would then you know change this to whatever you want uh, if you wanted to add more stamp types you could or you could request for me to add that for you and i would do so for you but anyways you would then adjust these and that would be exactly what automatically populates when you put it into the map now stamp helpers visible that's this right here this green box that you might not be able to see depending on the video and this beautiful blue highlight if I remove that those go away obviously it's still here I can still do my thing with it and everything still works as it needs to the alpha brush obviously that's the hype map uh, blend mode is currently set to alpha blend um, generally for me anyways having alpha blend for the first stamp is always more ideal for me uh, and as you can see things are looking great and beautiful uh, there is an effect so let me see if I can make it happen that with and this is a landmass issue I have not been able to figure out how to fix it there we go um, that when you hit alpha blend it's now alpha blending all of those stamps away now it's important to note that I think it has something to do with the order of the stamps and the reason I say that I placed this one fourth that one over there I placed first and as you can see it gradually got flatter and flatter so keeping them at additive is generally what you'd want to do but you can do whatever you'd like with your own risk. Let's see this mountain four. No, this is mountain one. All right. So with that out of the way, you then have stamp resolution. This will be easier to see with these because I got these bad boys at an extremely high resolution. Uh, as you can see right now, I have the stamp resolution sets to three. If I go to zero, because of the lighting and whatnot and the size of the landscape of the stamp landscape uh, the resolution zero is just too sharp to provide what you uh, you would need so if you had this land this stamp at like instead of three have it at like eight then you wouldn't have such an issue with the lighting and whatnot or with the uh, stamp being too sharp so this allows you to blur it up a bit. Go back to this one right here. Now, obviously, if you're wanting the general shape, but you're doing something that's uh, more on the low poly side, if I change this to five, you got that right there. And it looks pretty darn nice, even for low. It only goes up to 10, but you know. That's kind of just a waste of a stamp, if you ask me. Put that back to zero. Now then the brush size is exactly what it sounds like. If I change this to a five, 
then it's going to change everything to 5. As you can see now it's starting to cut it up because 5 is also going that way. At which point you would then need to increase the landscape and uh, we'll do that at the very end because there's a whole process to that. So I'll put you to 3. Now then the height is exactly what it is. How high do you want this to go? So you saw me earlier put it to 0.3 and it made it more of a noise function. If you come down here it's still because I changed it to alpha blend it's more prominent and it's not a small change either. You come here you got a pretty decent amount of uh, alteration just from a stamp. It's not tiny in the slightest. Uh, another cool perk with the height. If you go with a, oh, a negative, you can then make your own lakes. Obviously you wouldn't want to do it too much with uh, mountains, but with the noise it would work, even with the cliffs. If you wanted to go with the mountains, then messing with these other settings would help to uh, make it less prominent. So if we were to change that to a 4, um, more blurry means, uh, you know, wet, obviously. And then messing with these other settings to make it work. Uh, so now let's set this back. The next two settings, uh, stamp intensity and cliff strength, are really cool. So if I do stamp intensity and I set it to 2, so what it did was made the um, the colors that are in between white and black that are closer to white made them more white, and those that are closer to black made them more black, uh, which gives you the steeper looking cliffs and whatnot. So if you're wanting to keep the general size, but you want the mountains to be smaller, I can then change this to 0 0.8. Still sharp but you got yourself a completely different stamp and appearance at the very least. The next one, as I stated, was Cliff Strength. I changed this to two. Anything that is a cliff, as you can see, became stronger. Anything that wasn't became weaker. So you can see there's an immense difference here. Now if I put this to zero, it looks ridiculous, 0.1. So mess with these at your own peril, because it is what it is. Now then let me change that back. Stamp intensity will not go below one. Uh, it goes extremely wonky when you do. It's not something you want to really mess with. As you can see right here, I'm putting things lower, and you may be wondering why I'm doing that. Something just reminded me to show that off. Uh, when you're in reverse, obviously it would become more prominent. Going downwards, it, same if you were to go up, it would create more of an issue there. But I'd go with minimum, you're not going to see too much of a difference either. And as you can see, it's messing with all those. So, the Landmass plugin, although free, has its own shortcomings. Oh, let me put that back to what I had it as, which was an alpha blend. And I'm going to put this back to zero. So remember, if you're wanting things moved up and down that way, you can as well. Now then, these two our use case, their uh, niche, you'll probably almost never use them, but they do have their place. Uh, to set an example here, let me change this to oh, 1.5. And then if I come here to the cutoff valley and I put it at 0.1, you're not going to see too much of a difference, but if I did 0.5, what 
what it does is it's lowering um, what how do I phrase this what it's doing cut off valley it's making the dark uh, pixels lighter Obviously, once it's one, it's one. There's not anything you can do about it. it, it it's this right here. So point three, and if I were to put this back to one, that's what you have. But if you're only wanting those mountains, and it, it helps reduce a, a bunch of stuff. Like I said, very use case here. And then cut off mountaintops. You want plateaus. This one, more people are going to be using most likely. Now, you have this right here. Definitely works out. But if you want steeper, then that's where cliff strength comes in. Now you have this very nice plateau. Now, stamp influence, it just changes the general shape of it. Mess around with it however you want. Again, it's just a way to utilize the same stamps to create more uniqueness to reduce the size of the project. Fall off strength, zero, it's going to disappear. One, it's going to start coming back. I have it at 2.33. Uh, fall off sharpness, again, zero, it's going to disappear. One, if I put it at 0.12, you can see how it's working. So my stamps are at uh, like 0.5 for the fall off sharpness and 10. It really just depends on what looks best. So that is the landmass plugin. That's those are my stamps, and that's how it will work out for you and everybody else. So if you have any questions or if there's something you're wanting to make the stamps do and you want to know if it's possible, you can hit me up in my Discord or ask a question in, on YouTube and I will see if it is possible to make happen. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.